In this tutorial, we will learn about copy command in detail. Keyboard shortcut for copy command is CO. Enter. Then select object. You can select as many object you want. Once done, press enter. Then specify the base point. In this case, I want to copy this circle to place its center to the end point of this line. Therefore, the center of this circle will become the base point for this copy command. Click on the center, make the ortho off, then give the second point where you want to copy at the end of this line. Copy command is still on, you can copy it as many times as you want. Press enter to stop the command. If you want to give the copy command from ribbon bar, here is the copy command, click there. Then select object, enter, then give the base point, then give the direction. You can also specify the distance and the angle. Here you can give the distance, suppose I want distance of 10. Then to give the angle, press tab button on keyboard and specify the angle. I want to copy it in 135 degree, enter and press enter to come out. So in this way you can copy it center to center. So distance is 10 and angle is 135 degree. Again copy, select object, enter, give the base point. Then if you want to copy straight in straight line you can track the object or you can make the ortho on. Then give the direction where you want to go and specify the distance directly. I want to copy at a distance of 15 or here on upper side at a distance of 10. In this way also you can copy it. Then in copy command there is array option is there. If you click on the array you can specify the number of atoms. How many atoms you want? I want 5 atoms. Enter. Then specify the Second point or is the gap between the atoms. Suppose I want the gap to be 5, enter. So it has created an array in that direction. If I take the array option again, array, then give the number of atoms 5. Then in array atom there is one more option is fit option. That means you can specify the total distance within which you want to fit the 5 objects. Click on the fit. Then specify the total distance. I want to fit the 5 object in 25 distance. Give the 25 distance. If you want to cancel the last operation, you can click on undo here. So it will cancel the last operations. And by clicking on exit, you can come out. Again, copy, select object, enter. Then there is this displacement option is there. If you click on the displacement, you need not to give the base point. You can directly specify the distance make the ortho off so in displacement you will have to give the distance in x direction and y direction suppose here i give x x as a 10 comma and y as a 10 enter so in this case if we check the distances from this center to this center the x direction distance is 10 and y direction distance is 10 then again Copy, select object, enter, again displacement. Then if you want to give angle, distance and angle, that is also possible. Give distance of 50. Then to give the angle, you have to press the tab button and give the angle. Suppose 30 degree, enter. So here if we check the distance, measure from this center point to this center point. The distance is 50. And angle is 30. Copy, select object, enter. Then there is one more option is mode option. If you click on it, mode. Then you can choose the copy mode. Whether you want to copy it multiple times or single time. If you choose single, give the base point, give the second point. Copy will operate only one time. Again copy, select object, enter. Then again mode. And if you choose the multiple, 
it will operate multiple times give the base point and second point so you can copy it as many time as you want again copy select object enter give the base point then there is one more option is here use first point as displacement that means it will use this point whatever the distance from this origin with the same distance and same angle it will copy ahead to use this first point as displacement option you just have to press enter so it will directly copy whatever is the gap here thus with the same gap it it have copied here then again copy select object enter when you are in inside the single copy mode within that if you want to copy multiple times from here you can choose the multiple times multiple times then give the base point within single option also you can copy multiple times press enter to come out if the base point is not important in copy you can copy without command also select the object press right click and drag the mouse and release the right click and click on this copy here so in this way you can copy without giving any command also select the object then press right click and drag the mouse and release the mouse and copy here in the same way you can move also select the object press right click drag release the mouse and move here thanks for watching we will stop here